Today we're checking out South Park Stanley's Cup. If you want to watch my reaction to the entire episode, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. Y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Being a delivery boy for the South Park Gazette is a noble privilege. I'm sorry, Mr. Jarvis. It's just that I have to get up at 4 a.m. to deliver your paper, and then I go to school all day. Oh, That's where, where, crazy. where? We've all got problems. Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Mr. Jarvis. That's up. I'm going to need you to treat the homie Stan with a little more respect because he is eight or nine years old. You feel me? 4 a.m. and then go to school? That's a lot of responsibility for a kid, bro. Hey, hey, what are you doing? This your bike? Yes. It's on the impound list. You owe the county for tickets. Tickets on a bike is crazy. Dude, I need my bike to do my job. Yeah, well, my job is to tow this bike. You want it back, you talk to the county. <laughs> Bro, just let it go. Impounded bicycle, $83 owed to the county. Maybe you should get a job. I got a job, but without my bike to do my paper route, I can't make the money, see? Stan Marsh is a bright young man. He's got a great family, a promising paper route. Only problem is, his bike's been impounded. <laughs> but now, he's about to find out that getting his bike back isn't so easy. Bro, where where is this from? I feel like I've seen that, like, most of my childhood. Not that, but, like, the, the, the narrating of what's about to happen. For example, any Eminem fans in the chat? I mean... Any Eminem fans? Any Eminem fans watching the video right now? You ever remember the song "Guilty Conscience" with Dr. Dre? They got the same type of narrating going on in the beginning of each verse, as they as you're about to go into into whatever story is about to play out. You know what I mean? Like, where is that from originally, bro? Because I feel like I've seen something like that as a kid, but I don't I don't know where the hell it came from. Stan Marsh is a washed up fourth grader. He's got no job, no bicycle. And his only way out is to coach a peewee hockey team. <laughs> a washed up fourth grader is crazy. Oh, boy. Uh, all right, guys, over oh. here. Come over here. Oh. We got a lot of work to do and not much time to do it in. Who are you? <laughs> I don't My know who you And I'm your new coach. Now we just need to kind of organize a little bit and practice our- Coach, I had to go party. All right, fine, go ahead. By myself? Just hold it a while, okay? What does passing mean? Bro, these kids know nothing. They couldn't even skate properly, bro. Everybody was slipping and sliding, falling left and right. We're going to practice. You two guys play defense and you play goalie. I can't play goalie. Why not? My doctor says I'm not supposed to. What, you got asthma or something? No, he has cancer. Oh. What? Nelson has leukemia. It's already spread to his bone marrow. Oh, I don't no. want to have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay. Don't cry. But why me, Coach? Why? Coach, why do people get cancer? Oh. oh Jesus, can we just practice? Are we going to get cancer if we play with Nelson, coach? No. <laughs> Poor kid, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. It, it kind of got to me. I was I was low-key sad a little bit. You feel me? But then uh, <laughs> the little stupid kid over here is like, am I going to get it from playing with him? You know what I mean? We just thought we'd come check out the ice for the game tomorrow. Gavin Throttle, the coach of the Adams County team. Hey, look. Why don't you just give up? <laughs> yeah. He swerved them, bro. He did one of these. Hey, nice to meet you, psych. You feel me, bro? Since when do they got kids? Since when do they have kids training kids? I've never heard of such phenomenon. See you tomorrow, coach. Adam's team, right follow. Coach, please don't let us lose to Adams County. My daddy will beat me again. Oh, no. I don't know if I should be laughing at this. Holy crap. 
Oh my god, poor kid, bro. Your mother's been worried sick, and I've been watching TV. I got a new job. I'm finally going to be able to pay off all the money I owe. Oh, well, that's good. What kind of job? I'm working with the Pee Wee Hockey League. What? With the... Whoa, whoa, wait, Stan. You gave up playing hockey a long time ago. I'm not playing, I'm coaching. Stan, you can't put your family through this again. Whatever your reasons are. I'm tired, I'm going to bed. What are we going to do, Sharon? What? Don't you get it? He's getting back into hockey to prove something to himself. No, so he's he can not. forget what happened in that Pee Wee skirmish. Maybe he doesn't remember. He was only four. Oh, he remembers. I'm sure it eats at him every single day. All right, so they got to tell us what happened ASAP. Because they're making, they're building this, this episode out to be like some emotional, something deep. You feel me? You had the kid with the cancer. You got the kid that got beat by his parents, which I think, was that the same kid with the cancer, bro? And we're about oh, here out of it is. time here, it here is. in yet another scoreless Pee Wee Hockey game. Oh, and look at this. Little Stan Marsh actually has a shot at the goal. Bro, you're right oh! there. You better not miss Stan, that. Look at Randy. Time is running out. Stan Marsh with a chance to win. You got it. Take the shot! Take the shot! Bro, hit it again! Oh yeah. my god! <gasps> Randy, what's wrong? Oh, 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 Sharon, it was horrible. It was like I was living it all over again. Hold on, I thought Stan was having the dream and not Randy. Uh, it, it just, it literally just hit me. We are the Browns. Nelson's parents? Oh. Our little Nelson, he's taking a turn for the worse, I'm afraid. His cancer's real bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Doctors say this could be it. <laughs> you need like How that. How am I supposed to do it, coach? How do I look a five-year-old child in the eye and tell him he's not going to live? You tell me, coach. You tell me how. Stop it, Jack. Bro, you're talking to, to a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're talking to him like it's a grown-ass man. What do you say to somebody who's dying, huh? I don't know. Will you talk to him, coach? He looks up to you. You're going to pass that responsibility down to him? Nah, y'all tripping, bro. Like, I, I don't know if I'm being cold-hearted about it, but I, I, I'd have told him, hey, you got to... You got to take your kid out of practice, and he, he can't come back until you tell him what's really going down. You feel me? Like... That's that's the only way, bro. It's got to be like that. No, I think you oughta. Nah, I'm just his father. But you're his coach. You're like a father to him. Please, coach, <laughs> so backwards. He's counting on you. Please, coach, he's counting on you. Coach, what's it like when you die? I'm not sure. I would think that it's a lot like it was before you were born. How come I have to die now? Oh, he knows. I mean, how come I don't get to grow up? God damn it, dude, I don't know. I'm sorry. No, what I mean is nobody really knows, see? But everyone does it. I mean, it's not like everyone else gets to live and only you have to die. Everyone's gonna die. You feel better now? Oh, no, bro. I think so. Okay, great. Look, I, I gotta get to the stadium, but uh, hang in there, all right? Thanks, I coach. mean, at least he went by, right? Like, that's that's pretty dope of him to do. It's a lot of responsibility, you feel me? And, and he came he came through clutch. He did it. The game tonight, I'm going to be watching so. Could you make it so I don't have cancer? Aww. No, dude, I told you I can't do that. Bro, this is heart-wrenching. I don't like this episode. Like, it's, it has its funny moments, but it's weighing more on the sad side. Stan Marsh has always lived a carefree life. But in the blink of an eye, what seemed important before can all be put in perspective. Stan Marsh is bumming on cancer. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So now I know where it's from, bro. It's actually from movie trailers back in the day. It hit me. The way, the way he did this one right here, it hit me 100%. It gave me clarity. It's definitely from trailers like back in the 90s or something. Wait, wait, wait. Coach, 
Can I talk to you for a second? Come to surrender, coach. Look, there's a kid on my team who's got cancer, and he wants us to win this game really bad, so could you just give us kind of a break? Ha! I don't think so, coach. Damn. We're gonna beat you into the ground, cancer or no. Win, 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 win. I mean, it's a cold world out there, bro, and the world is not going to adjust to you. You got to adjust to the world and continue to grind. You got to keep going. You feel me? I saw Nelson in the hospital, and he asked me one thing. He said he wanted us to win this game for him. So, if we lose, we're going to kill Nelson? <laughs> oh, Jesus, no. No pressure. I don't want to be a murderer. Relax. If we lose, we're not going to be murderers. If we lose, are we going to get cancer? Oh, no! no. <laughs> cancer. They look pretty strong, Coach. I think Nelson's going to die for sure. Oh. <laughs> so what's with all this shit talking when they all suck, bro? None of them can skate. The puck is still in the same spot since the game started. Nobody's doing anything. It's probably going to come down to Coach versus coach That's really what a what a peewee hockey game is like i wouldn't be surprised if it is bro is peewee hockey even a thing sound off in the comments bro what this this gotta be the most boring game ever nobody's doing anything maybe maybe as far as the sport itself you feel me it, it, it's got to be boring but Entertainment wise, it has to be up there, bro. This is a bunch of kids slipping and sliding and falling. What? Hello? Coach. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good, except for the cancer. <coughs> coach, does God hate me? Oh, oh hello, Coach. Uh, hi, Doc. How's he doing? Well, he isn't worse, but he isn't getting better. Damn. It's almost as if his cancer were tied. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, don't tell me that his cancer is connected to the uh, the team's record. Stan Marsh! Stan Marsh! Great news! Our hockey team has just been invited to play against Denver County during a Colorado Avalanche game. Wow! Oh, isn't that isn't that what um what he played in? Imagine if there was one game, one chance to make everything right. Stan Mersh is being given that chance. But to win, he's going to have to pull out all the stops in Stanley's Cup. Rated R. If you lose the big game, that little boy is going to die faster than Steve Irwin in a tank full of stingrays. Oh my god! What the hell were you thinking? We can't be Denver County. I don't like how negative this team is. Like, I know y'all ass, but damn, go out there and have some fun. Try to learn something. Practice. You feel me? I believe in you. Nelson believes in you. Doesn't that count for anything? No, because they're going to kill us. <laughs> they're going to kill us. That's what Steve Irwin said about the steam rays. Ooh. Was this around the time that uh, Steve Irwin passed? Sign off in the comments. Haven't you guys ever seen these movies? We're just supposed to rally together, believe in ourselves, and we win in the end. No, we need a Canadian. I hell yeah! At least he's hitting him, right? Wow, he's good. Yeah! Can you believe it, Stan? The Pepsi Center. You're going back to the place where it all happened. Is he like, I don't know, bro. He he's he's acting like he's the one that went through it. You know what I mean? When when it was actually Stan that went through that trauma? Right? Cuz he's I don't think it's trauma. He's not making it a big deal. It's just Randy's that Randy's the one that's like making it seem like it is. Same place where you missed that shot all those years ago. Dad, I'm working my game plan right now. Unless he's adding to the uh He's adding to the drama like 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 the movie would, like a movie would. You feel me? I'm going to be there for you, and I'll be rooting louder than anybody, saying, that's my son. He's so stupid. And just remember, Stan, win or lose, those are your two options. 
Win or lose. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk, Pops. I no longer need to hear it. And now, please put your hands together for three minutes of exhibition play from some of our state's finest peewee hockey players. All right, you guys. This Only is it. Only three minutes? The moment is here. We've been through a lot together. And according to every movie ever made, we're going to win this game. All right. Yeah, let's let's win. Win. Come on, Ike. Let's All get right, it, bro. Sorry, boys. You aren't playing tonight. Wait. Huh? The other Pee Wee hockey team didn't show up. There's nobody for you to play. Thanks for making the trip, though. No. Hey, hold on a second. If these kids have been through a lot of emotional changes, then they have to play. Yeah. Well, who are they going to play? They can take our place. Yeah. Let them play the Red Wings. Play the Red Wings? Bro, they better get dogged. Your attention, please. For this third and final period, the Detroit Red Wings will be playing the Park County Pee Wee Hockey Team. Bro, look at this, the, the, the height difference. Oh my God. Ooh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Puck took him in the goal in everything. Thirty one to two, bro. This is brutal. They beat the shit out of everybody. That ain't right, bro. That is not right. No, no. please don't die. Oh. No! Bro, he really died because they lost. They didn't even stand a chance, bro. They played against grown ass men. That's the ending, bro? That's foul. That's disrespectful. Holy shit. This was uh this was definitely an emotional roller coaster. But listen, man, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.